Hey what's up guys this is Henry Neo and you're welcome to yet another unboxing video on my channel. Today we'll be unboxing the Techno Spark 3. This was released a couple of weeks ago here in Lagos, Nigeria and I was able to bring you quick hands on on the device at the launch event. But here I have the device with me right now and I'm going to be giving you a full unboxing of the Spark 3. If this is the first time you come to the channel please hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so you're notified when I put up new videos. Let's get started with the unboxing of the Techno Spark 3. So in typical fashion, the Spark 3 comes in this very orange box, which is what we know from the Techno Spark series. It's no different from the previous Spark installments, although this box feels a little bit bigger. So let's grab a cotton tool quickly. All right, so we have the seal out. And as usual, you have the phone on the top of the box. We're gonna set this aside for now while we take a look at other items in the box. So in typical fashion, we have our charging brick here, our micro USB cable, and we have a pair of earphones in here. And we have our 12 plus one month warranty card, specification manual, plastic case that's frosted. And I kind of like this, we'll be trying this out very soon. And then the last item you have in the box here is a film screen protector. So these are all the items in the box. We're going to set these aside and take a look at the Techno Spark 3 itself. Now the variant I have here is in the Pro variant. This is the 16 plus 2 gigabyte variant. There is a 32 gigabyte plus 2 gigabyte variant, which is the Pro version of the Techno Spark 3. I couldn't get my hands on the Pro version, but we'll make do with this one. They look exactly the same. So let's just peel off the sticker at the top of the screen here. So while the phone powers on, let's take a while to look around the phone and see how the build quality of this device is. You've got that dual camera set up to the back here. You've got your Techno Spark brand in here. It's also got an AI camera. That's your fingerprint scanner to the back there. You have your speaker to the back of the phone here as well. You have that micro USB port and your microphone cutout. And to the top, you have that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. To the right of the device, you have your volume rockers and your power button and to the left, we have nothing to the left. So guys, I just discovered that this does not have any port for your SIM tray or your expandable memory or your expandable micro SD card slot. So what that means that the back cover here is removable. And the last device I saw something like this on was the Gioni device. The, I believe that's the S8S that I reviewed a couple of weeks ago. So there you have it. You have your dual SIM tray slots over here. And that's the cutout for the speaker over there. And then you also have your micro SD card slot up here. All right, guys, so we're done with the setup of the Techno Spark 3. And I can say for sure that this is a very good feeling phone. Its build quality is very good. I love the design language. I like what Techno has done here. You would be hard pressed to know that this is a plastic phone and that the back cover is removable. But yes, that back cover is removable and the same slots and your micro SD card slots are underneath that back cover. Techno has done a very good job in making this device look and feel premium. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about here is the included case. It's a plastic case and it has a frosted back here that's kind of cloudy and they've left this transparent strip here for the camera section and the branding section. So I'm just going to put in my phone in here and show you what that looks like and it fits really perfectly very snugly and makes this phone even more grippable but something to note however is that the case does not go above the phone's screen so it doesn't provide any kind of protection for the screen it just provides protection for the back of the phone
all right guys so we're done with the specifications on this phone so i'm just going to take you through and let you know what my thoughts on the techno spark 3 is number one i would like to talk about the design and build quality it feels good it looks very good looks like a premium device you would not be able to tell that this is an entry-level device its design is just absolutely gorgeous and techno actually hit this one up now in terms of the screen it's a 720p hd plus screen quite big it's as big as my xiaomi mi 8 so comparing it with my xiaomi mi 8 you can see how they compare I mean, almost exactly the same size. As for the software, Techno has also cleaned up the software to look really good. I think they worked on the software from the ground up all over again, and I'm impressed with what they've done. On this one, you have HiOS version 5.0, and it looks clean and it works pretty well. One of the things that you will notice, however, on the software part of things here is that it's a little bit laggy when you go into apps so if i open an app it takes a little bit of time before the app loads and then your content loads so techno has also changed the recent cards format to the horizontal mode here and it looks exactly like what you have on the infinix s4 i'm going to take a look at youtube now we're just going to open youtube and take a look at some videos and see how this device handles videos what's up guys this is henry you know, and this is the Techno Spark 3, the third installment of the Techno Spark series. This year's version comes in three variants one with 16 GB ROM and 1 GB of RAM, the second with 16 GB of ROM and 2 GB of RAM, and the third Pro variant with 32 GB ROM and 2 GB of RAM. So as you can see, video works pretty well and it sounds pretty well on this device. One other good thing I found out with this device is the fact that the speaker isn't on the bottom of the device here so that when you're watching the video this way you don't get to cover it sometimes um, by mystic the speaker is way at the back there's this panel here on the edge that leads you to shortcuts you can add shortcuts in there so that you can get to apps you love real quick and when you go into the settings app here you can also find that you have options to go into the display and also go into notch area display and you have the option to hide the notch area so you can just click on this and it turns that notch bar into black and leaves the notifications as white um, there's one more thing i would like to show you as well and that's the system navigation so you have a couple of options here just the way we saw on the infinix s4 so you have the key navigation the gesture navigation and also the mix navigation and you can pick from any one of them so if you go into the mix navigation you have the bar there and a back button if you have go into gesture navigation it gives you the full screen where you can use gestures to return to the home all right guys so we're going to be trying some games here i haven't loaded any any heavy duty game on this one because I know this is not the phone for that this is a 16 gigabyte plus 2 gigabyte phone only 2 gigabytes of RAM here and it runs on not a very high-end chip <laughs> see how well this game performs this is a 3d game it's not one of those very heavy 3d games but it's a 3d game nonetheless yeah okay so those are my breaks All right guys, so we're gonna be trying the camera test on the Techno Spark 3 to see how well the camera on this device performs. Guys, straight off the bat, I'm gonna say this. Now, color representation looks exactly the same. It doesn't oversaturate, it doesn't add more than it should add. The only thing I've noticed right now is that pictures are not very sharp. So over here at the edges here, you can see that it's a bit blurred. So if I blow it up a bit, you can see that the focus is out on the edges over there it's not that very sharp if i expand this as well you can see it in the tires as well there's a lot of grain in the tires so a phone like this would give you really good pictures when you want to use them on places like 
Instagram but they may not give you very good pictures when you want to use them for print work so I took a couple of pictures in the selfie mode one thing I'd like to reiterate about this camera is that the color representations on the screen here is exactly how you see it in real life the only thing is that the highlights are blown so you can't see anything behind me there it's all white I took another one here looks good as well and I took one in a beauty mode it's not something I would use personally but I know a lot of people out there would like to use this mode and I took one with the bokeh mode and with the blurry background and you can see you can see those pictures back there are very visible now but they're, they're a little bit blurred on this one so again this is not the best camera out there it's not going to give you fantastic photos but it's going to give you pictures that you can share on instagram facebook and the likes of them all right guys so in conclusion what are my thoughts i think this is an absolutely beautiful device it looks absolutely very good in fact if you were to place it beside premium devices let me get some other devices out here this is my xiaomi mi 8 and this is the infinix s4 so if you were to place it beside some of these other devices you would not be able to tell that this was actually an entry-level device now it has a little bit of the same design language with the infinix s4 just little differences here and there and the infinix s4 feels quite better than this one and that's understandable this is an entry-level device but just look at this guys i'm really really very impressed i mean look at it against the Xiaomi Mi 8. So guys, I'm really impressed by what Techno has done with the Techno Spark 3. This device goes for 36,500 Naira for the 16 plus 2 gigabyte version. The 16 plus 1 gigabyte version that comes with Android 9 Go goes for 33,500 Naira. Guys, if you have any questions about the Techno Spark 3 and all of its other variants, please leave them in the comment section on this video and i would appreciate if you could hit the like button as well and share this video to your friends as well to help this channel grow it takes a lot of time making these kind of videos and it would be of great help if you could help push the word out there when i publish videos like this one thanks again for watching and i'll see you in my next one peace